Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another full fingerstyle arrangement lesson right here on Lickin' Riff. And in this video, we're gonna learn a full fingerstyle arrangement of Funky Town. I'm gonna play it for you in a second so you can see and hear how it goes, and then we're gonna break it down lick by lick, chord by chord, note by note, with tabs right here on the screen as usual. It goes like this, enjoy. <laughs> Okay, so you start the intro with eight C octaves. Okay, eight times. Three on the fifth string, five on the third string. Okay, eight times. Now, make sure you're not playing them together. They shouldn't blend into one another. Okay, you should play it staccato. Short notes with silence between the notes. The way to do that is to simply stop pressing the string after you play the note. Just stop pressing it. Okay, stop applying force and just touch the string. Okay, and this creates the effect. No need to mute using your uh, picking hand. You just stop pressing. And that's the way to do the intro. Then comes the main melody, which is Five, five, three, five on the third, and then five on the fourth. Strings, I mean. Forgot to mention the word string. And um, yeah, six years into this channel, and I forget to say string. Uh, then you have five on the fourth string, then five on the third, then six, five on the second. Then five on the third string again. That's the melody. Now, you can play a continuous bass. But that's kind of hard to maintain throughout the song. So you can play a bass note every beat. Okay? Or alternate in between any way you feel like. to create an interesting um, back and forth uh, kind of arrangement. It's up to you. You just take what I show you and make your own arrangement out of this. This is how it works here on Lick and Riff. So that's the intro, basically. You play the melody twice. So eight times, then up. Have fun with this. This is a very simple uh, melody, so you can do whatever you like with it. And then you start the verse, which uses the same notes. It's five, five, five on the third string, then on the second string. Then you bar the eighth fret and you play the sixth string on eight. This is again C. It's the same note. 
and it's eight on the second string twice. Okay, or three times or one time, you don't have to stick to the lyrics. And then 12, 10, 8 on the E string. And then immediately, okay, so you get this. Again, okay, everything the okay, and then the after you play this twice, you have this, okay, you play strings three and four as an inverted G5 chord, that's what it is, and and the melody is 10 and 12 on strings 1 and 2 four times, then 10 and 8 and 10 on strings 1 and 2, sorry. Okay, 10 and 12, 8 and 10, then 7 and 8, then 5 and 7 three times, and then 3 on the E string. And I recommend playing it with your third finger or with your pinky because you're gonna need a G next. So three on the sixth string. Now you can use your first finger for three and use your thumb on the sixth string, but there's no need to get uh, all technical here. You can just put a G chord, so. And then you have the same melody, uh, the main melody of the song, the riff, um, but on G. So G is your bass here, three on the sixth string, and you play, not that, you play the open third string twice, three on the fourth, open third, open fourth, then fourth, third, open strings, and then one zero on the second, open third again, mostly open strings, so. And after you do that, you play this again. Now there's a catch at the end there. You play the, the 10, 12, three times, the eight and 10, three times, the seven and eight, three times. Then you play seven and eight again, and then you put three and five, but you bar the third fret because you're gonna need to go back to the main melody again. Um, and if you do this, then you're gonna need to let it go to put the C bass on. Okay, like this. Um, and why cut it off? You can just put it on. Bar on three, three, five on strings one and two. Okay, so five on the second string. And, and just continue into the line, so. just fade away on its own. Um, that's the trick that I use, uh, just bar instead of playing a solo. Then um, you have the, okay, the melody, I mentioned that, and then you have gotta move on. So I do it like this, thumb on eight on the sixth string and eight, eight, six, eight on strings one and two, it's a bar, a uh, third of a bar, so and then immediately go back to the middle of the melody. Okay, you start from five on the fourth string. So this replaces this, okay? It's actually the same notes, okay, octave. It's the same notes, just not to higher, so. Okay, so you continue from five on the fourth string and make sure you're putting on three on the fifth. Um, sounds complicated, but it's only a matter of practice. Um, we're rarely playing chords, chord shapes in this arrangement. So, uh, at least so far. So basically it's just bass notes and melodies and most of the bass notes are C, so. On the song, the original song, they play it three times. And 
then you have this. Okay, a bass move. So it's G octaves twice, three, five on string six, four, down two frets to one and three for F, down one fret to zero and two for E. Then uh, it's supposed to go down to D, but we'll go up five and seven on strings, five and three. And then you have three, three on the uh, fifth string, three on the sixth, one, one, two on the fifth. And that's the verse. Then you have uh, the famous... Um, the famous chord riff, which turns uh, the melody into C minor seven. Okay, so it's a bar on eight with ten on the fifth string, and then right, okay, it's eight eleven eight eleven on the second string, eight on the E string. So okay, you can harmonize with the chord if you like. You don't have to. And then you have. Um, 11 on the second, 8, uh, yeah, uh, 8, 8, 11 on the first, um, then the first one again, right, and then 11 on the second, 8, 8 on the first, 8 on the third, so, right, and make sure it's staccato as long as you can make it staccato, so don't don't stress out about it. You can do, okay, or okay. The notes together don't really matter here because it's high notes instead of low notes. Um, but if you can do this and just stop barring every time, it sounds a little better, okay. And um, you play this twice. Okay, so uh, okay, and then you have F, right? The interlude after the um, the saxophone interlude after the uh, the chorus. So, okay, da 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 da. It's down, up, 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 down. Right, and then it's Okay, it's one four one four one four on strings one two one two one two, then slide to six four on the E string. Okay, you can do a okay, uh, bluesy sort of thing here if you like. It's uh, six slide to seven slide to six four on the E string, but I suggest you do it the second time around as an embellishment. So, okay, and then F again, and then. It's uh, one four again on strings one and two, then four three one on the E string. You can slide from three to four, okay? Then four four slide to six on the second string, and then you do it again, and then you can use the embellishment. Then. Either go back to or go back to the beginning. Okay? And if you want to finish, this is a good way to finish. And just to end it on F. Uh, it's a cool way to end it and also break a little bit of the expectation on ending on the C note. It's just my way of doing it. You don't have to, um, just a suggestion. So before you go practice this, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I don't know what you're waiting for. There's a ton of free lessons over here and the tabs are free as well.
In the description, you will find the link to the tab and above the tab, you'll see a donation button just in case you want to give something back, even though everything is free. So everything goes right back into Lick and Riff, into your guitar education, and it all takes time and work. It's a lot of work uh, working on these lessons and producing them. And if you want to help out, I'd be more than grateful to you for any donation you choose to make. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson. Go have fun with this. Bye for now.